Good day gentle people, welcome back to my channel. Let me tell you about my past week and how to make a fool of yourself Mr. 42 style. Like every week, last one also started with a Monday. Because Mondays suck and nothing happened whatsoever, I'm gonna skip this one. After Monday comes, of course, Tinfoil Tuesday with Simon Dan. Last week's episode might become largely forgotten in the future, except for one sentence. Matt Powell has a giant inflatable banana in his backyard, which he names Dr. Peel. I did reach out to Dan the same day over Twitter. Let's all make that statement and compile it at the end. I'm sure Dan is a busy man, he never replied. <laughs> Later the same day, Limey Play made a live stream, just testing out stuff, and it was all fun and games. During the game, no, during the stream, I had a funny idea. I, and I created a very short video, and I asked Limey to play it in his stream. Please watch live on stream. Uh, are you setting me up for something, something terrible? Why is it copied it as a... Did you, did you copy it from the... Straight from your studio? <laughs> Alright. Matt Powell has an inflatable banana in his backyard, which he calls Dr. Peel. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Oh, that was brilliant. Oh, that was brilliant. He even found it funny enough to repeat the same joke a few minutes later. I do want to quickly just just play something for, um, for Seek, though, because I'm not sure if he joined in time. Matt Powell has an inflatable banana in his backyard, which he calls Dr. Peel. <laughs> I could not have foreseen what happens next. Whoa, Simon Dan! Got friggin' royalty in the, in the chat. Okay then, challenge accepted. The next few days I was busy collecting all those videos that you guys have made. You can stop now by the way, I already have 50. Thank you very much. On Thursday evening there was the agree to disagree debate. Because the quickie blinder is currently busy, I volunteered to stand in again. I may be not as handsome and I come with an accent, but I will do my best. The chat made me read out some super chats. Yay! That I have collected. I'm gonna start and currently end with the same guy. So let's start with Dildo Baggins. That was the first time that week I said a bad word on a live stream that wasn't on my channel. But don't worry, it was not the last time. Little shout out here for a Marvel girl for having me in her debate after show. At least I didn't screw up in that show, so it's not included. Let's continue. Friday was relatively re relaxed. I just did my job. And after that collected some of the videos for the Simon Dan challenge. Friday evening was, of course, the big debate. Brian's logic versus Renty. Here's what I managed to say in the after show. Live. In front of a few hundred people. He's still wrong in every, you know, every single thing he says. Still but... wrong, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday. Saturday is a different story. Irish Demon was trying to set up Quiz Wars, but had some trouble finding people. So I stepped up. Besides losing the quiz, I completely embarrassed myself here. Let's see. 
So which of the following foods are astronauts banned from eating before going into space? Is it A, peanut butter? Is it B, seafood? Is it C, butthole? Or is it D, beans? What was C? Uh, booty, butthole. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for asking for that clarification. For the purposes of demonetization. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. It's like Chris Tarrant on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Could you say that last one again, Chris? Yes. Bottle. <laughs> I know it's nobody's fault, but I felt very embarrassed for asking. Oh, well. For Sunday, I was scheduled for Stupidity is Not a Right with Fight the Flat Earth. He was making an announcement on Saturday evening and, um, well... He forgot who was going to participate. One of the opponents luckily has an excellent sense of humour and made this clip about it. On that note guys, thank you very much for joining me today. It's been an absolute blast. Please come back tomorrow for episode 9. Uh, no, actually episode 10 of Stupidity is Not Right. Um, we have Mr. 42. Um, and quit and the, me. No, maybe not quit. It's a sprinkler. Uh, oh God, I can't remember who's... My opinion. On the show now. Well, there's there's four of you, and you know who you are, but it's including Mr. Forty Two. Uh, so come and check that out tomorrow. I'm and also on there. Have... On stupidity is not a right tonight. Mr. Forty Two and some other guys. Be there. So, how did it go? You will ask. I will show you. Uh, Mr. 42, what do you yeah. think? Uh, I really have no idea. Um, as you can see, I was a complete loss for words. I had nothing more to say. My mind was a blank. Embarrassing. So, as you can see, it was not the best week of my life. I hope your week was better. You know what made my week a little bit better though? I now have 100 plus subscribers, thanks to you guys. Thank you very much. This has been the week of Mr. 42. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And click on the Discord link in the description to get in touch with me. Mr. 42, out. Don't panic.